Hello guys and welcome back. I am super excited because I actually have a mystery box full of something. Something Swedish is in here. <laughs> this box was kindly sent to me by Swedish Candy and it was just really fun to hear from them. They sent an email and asked if they could send me a box, which of course I said, how could I turn down a box of goodies? But they're actually based out in Pennsylvania. And if you've seen my recent video, I went to Pennsylvania and I went to the American Swedish Historical Museum. Swedish American? No, American Swedish Historical Museum. But when I was looking up Swedish stuff in Pennsylvania, I did see this store show up on the map, but it was about an hour and a half away, so I wasn't able to find the time to go out there. But luckily, they reached out to me, and so very nice of them to send this to me, and I have no idea what's in here, so I'm excited. I briefly went to their website, but then I, I quickly left because I didn't want any sort of indication of what might be in here. But I will say this box is nine pounds, which is over four kilograms. So I'm gonna hope it's not all candy <laughs> because holy crap, that's a lot of candy. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm so excited to find out what's in here. Okay. How many unboxing videos have I done on my channel? Because ever since the first one I did, I'm always scared now that this might be a Telenor surprise. <laughs> so opening the box, uh, the first thing... Cute! <laughs> Swedish. I love it. I mean, come on. That's like the perfect name for a candy store that sells Swedish candy, right? Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. It's just so crazy to even see what I'm seeing right now because ever since the migrations office kicked me out of Sweden, I haven't seen any of these brands. But at the same time, it feels like it hasn't been very long since I've seen all this. I don't know, it's a weird mix of like, it feels familiar, but then I have to remind myself that I am not in Sweden. Like, you don't see this stuff in the States. Okay. <laughs> it's so deep, I know. Oh yeah. You know, sadly, I don't know the names of these candies. But I recognize, I think I recognize all of them. But I will say, I don't know if I recognize, oh, okay, maybe. It's kind of like that orange, yellowish ghost one. My favorite candy, I like the, from Sweden, would be the, um, the Tutti Fruities and, which is technically Finnish, isn't it? And then I like the, um, the gummy watermelons. I don't see any in here though. Okay, this is so good, but this took forever to chew, so I should save this. <laughs> okay, there are several bags of chips in here. Okay, dill and grass look which is like grass onions. Is that just like chives? Okay, so dill and chives, I guess. These ones, grit, just grill. What? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> oh, what? Ooh, okay, it's a limited edition one. Polka mint dark chocolate. So yeah, I definitely haven't tried this flavor with the chewy peppermint toffee. Interesting. I do like dumle. Is that how you say it in Swedish? Dumle? Pomak? 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 Yeah, a carbonated fruit drink. I think I confuse this one with the 
Tropa... What's the other one called? It has like the colorful umbrella thing. But it also kind of has like a goldish design and I think I mix those two up. Anyway, I think I've tried this, but now I'm not entirely sure. It looks like beer, but it's not. Well, two things. Ooh, okay. Dime, amazing. Not sure if Swedes know this, but the equivalent in the States would be a Heath bar. It's like almost the exact same. Love, kex, hooklad. Oh no, okay. I'm not kidding. I have asked many Swedes this question and then I still can't remember the answer because apparently the way you pronounce this is like a regional thing and so I never remember which region I'm supposed to agree with, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to say Kex Huklad if I'm in Örebro, but in Stockholm is it Shex? Oh no! <laughs> I'm sure you guys will help me out. <laughs> so anyway, this is one of those candies that the first time I tried it, I was not impressed. And then the second time I tried it, I was like, this is the best thing ever. So this one took a couple tries before I finally was like, these are so good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, cute. Okay, Marabou, Yule Venner. Christmas friends. <laughs> I think they're all Santa Clauses though. No way. Is this, is this oh boy? Tell me. <laughs> Nothing on the front actually confirms that this is oh boy, but I'm pretty sure that's the, the O for it. I've never tried oh boy, you guys. And finally, I, it was hard to like find an excuse to, to try it, I guess, on my own, but I have a, a, like a single serving here, so. Okay, this can be something I try at the end of the, at the end of the video. Ooh. Wait a second, what? Is this why I'm so confused? Is this the same company? <laughs> what? Am I crazy? These look like the exact same. These are different? Look at these logos, you guys. <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Also, how sad there's two pant that will never be redeemed. <laughs> so I'm still confused about these two. Suspiciously similar branding. Okay. Hmm. Okay, well this might be one of the first things I've never heard of. Yet the body's checks. Kex! Oh no! <laughs> Kex. Kex. Oh, how do you say it? Oh my... Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is such a big bag, you guys. Cheese wishing stars. <laughs> 10 out of 10 for the name. That's really funny. I will say I always make fun of cheese doodles because those don't exist in the States and the name just makes me laugh really hard. Cheese doodles but I'm really enjoying cheese wishing stars <laughs> with a Z. <laughs> Ooh, I really like lacquerol, lacquerol, lacquerol. I haven't tried this kind where it says, yup, on the front. You a loser? No. Winner? Yep. I usually just buy the ones in the little boxes, but. Now, one thing I recently learned is that lacquerol, are they like, not digestives, but like, not laxatives. What do I say? I thought, am I not thinking of the right word here? Is it true that you shouldn't eat too many lacquerols because, you know, because of digestion? <laughs> I don't know. I used to 
See, now I don't know if I want to admit it. I used to eat like a box a day of those. <laughs> and now I'm really worried that I really shouldn't have been doing that. This was years ago, but I don't know. Am I crazy? Am I not supposed to be eating all of these at once? Because they're pretty addicting. Hockey pulver. Super salt hockey pulver. What? What? Nervous. Is it stuff gonna go everywhere if I open this? Oh wow, it really is just... What the? I'm so confused, you guys. Look, so this is the front of it. And I can't really tilt it down to show you guys. Here, let me... This is what's on the inside. It's just like... It just looks like salt. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? I don't get it. I just don't, like how do you eat it? Am I supposed to like sprinkle it on stuff? Okay. Maybe I'll dip some candy in here. <laughs> oh wait, these ones. Doom, doomle with the polka mint dark chocolate. I haven't even had lunch yet. This is bad. I should really, I should really should have eaten lunch first, but. Hmm. It's not bad. It's definitely, definitely a surprise to get the mint flavor instead of the normal Doomle chocolate. It tastes like, okay, like the peppermint patties from Girl Scouts. But again, I don't think you guys have those in Sweden. Yeah, that was a good, that was a good bite. Very chewy, so I'll finish this one later. <laughs> All right, I think what I'm gonna do, okay, I'm gonna take one of these little orange yellow ghost guys, and then I'm gonna dip this in the hockey pulver, I guess, but I'm gonna try it first. This one's okay. Almost has like a peach flavored, which maybe it is because it's got the orange and yellowish color. Okay, now since I have no idea what I'm actually supposed to use this sugar salt thing for, I guess I'm gonna use it to dip other candy in. <laughs> I would say that actually made the orange ghost taste better. <laughs> It seems like this is meant to be a dip. I hope no one's just actually like throwing one of these back and just swallowing a bunch of sugar salt, but I don't know. Okay, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna get something for this. Oh boy. I feel like this is a lot of mix. Like you guys, oh, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, this is my first ever, oh boy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, it just tastes like a chocolate drink, but a good one. I mean, it's, it's actually pretty mild with like the sweetness. Okay, I need to, I need to stop. I, <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd take just one sip and I've almost had the whole the whole thing. Oops. So that was quite a haul. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I mean, who doesn't like mystery boxes, right? A huge thanks again to Swedish Candy for sending me this box. It was just such a nice surprise that they were willing to send this to me. And then of course, everything inside the box was a surprise as well. So very fun to see the variety and I have some new stuff to try. 
Hopefully I will find some friends, and if I do, there will be a part two to this video, so stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you guys can like, comment, and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Later! She's witching stars. Kind of smells like cat food. It really smells like cat food, but it doesn't taste like it, which is good. Mm. Cheese wishing stars.